Flop's a genius. What's that? You want to learn a, an expository essay? Well, of course I'll tell you about an expository essay. Let's grab a snack first. Well, an expository essay has three parts. First paragraph is an introduction paragraph, kind of like the top bun in a hamburger. This one only has a couple sentences, including your hook and your thesis. Next, you have your reason and support paragraphs. You need about two to three of these. Think of them like the meat or the milk bone of your essay. And finally, you need your conclusion paragraph. This is kind of the bottom bun, the thing that holds it all together so your essay just doesn't fall apart. Well, Flop, let's focus on your introduction paragraph first. That's the paragraph that gets your reader interested. The first sentence you need is a hook. You can use a question or a snapshot or any funny story you can think of. After you have your introduction, you need to have your thesis sentence. This is your main idea sentence that tells the reader what you're going to be writing about and gives two to three reasons why you're going to be writing about it. Your support paragraphs come right after your introduction paragraph. They're like the meat of your essay, or in your case, like that delicious giant bone you're eating. This is what the reader really wants to know. Every single support paragraph needs to have a transition word, like first, second, third, or you can get fancy with it and start using then, next, finally. Make sure each one of your sentences has a topic sentence, a main idea. After your topic sentence, make sure you have two to three supporting sentences. For example, if your topic sentence is that shelter dogs are the best dogs, I don't really want to hear about your trip to the park with your dog last weekend. You need to stick to the facts. Uh, or about your neighbor's German Shepherd. You need to make sure your sentences stay on topic. The last thing you need is a cat doing that. I mean, a conclusion paragraph. Max, please, we're writing. The last part of your essay, after your tummy's all full of awesome reasons, is your conclusion paragraph. This restates your thesis, which means you say exactly what you said before, just so you make sure that you stayed on topic and so your reader doesn't forget what your point was. Then you need to end your story with a bang. Make sure your reader remembers your essay. Don't let them be bored. Well, Flop. I hope you learned how to write an expository essay. Now we just gotta work on getting thumbs. Outside? Do you wanna go outside? <laughs>